I don't know. I came up pretty good on that one, though, after that guy came up and gave me 100 bucks. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that was f***ing bogus, so dude. What are these, Sorry, dude, I just swore. The <laughs> fact that a random guy comes up and goes, hey, you're my favorite C-boy. No, he said 100 bucks. Okay, for context, we were all out to eat. It was like a big group dinner at this really nice restaurant. Uh, what was it two days ago? Mm-hmm. And we're all there, and we're in the we're at this back table. And dude, it was so many people kept coming up and asking to take pictures and all this. So people were like confused on what was going on. Very. But the table sitting next to us basically was another large group. It was like a family. And uh, the guy comes up, like after our meal, or like when we're almost done. And he, he goes up to Ben and gives him $100 in front of all of us. And he goes, hey, uh, I want to pay for your meal. My uh, my kids, they they say you're you're their favorite. So I want to give you this money because no, you cost it. He, us. Said, he, he said, said Ben was his he said, favorite. You're mine and my wife's favorite. Oh, okay. And then he goes, you've also costed, uh, cost us a lot of money from my kids. So <laughs> I, I, I was very confused by it. Yeah, and then I was I I felt very weird taking the yeah. yeah. I felt it. awkward because there was there like too. no exchange. Like if somebody was like, "Hey, man, here's a hundred bucks. Can I buy a sweatshirt?" We'd be, "Yep, I'll take the money. You get something in return." But instead, it was me just sitting there in front of all of my peers that I'm apparently better than in his it's eyes. It's also kind of weird. The money, yeah. and I just go. I I literally look at the guy and I go. No shit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if it was like selfish of me, but I thought he was gonna be like, "I'm just kidding. Get get a round of drinks for you yeah, for all you guys." Yeah, and that would have been a much just better. Stuck with it. He goes, "Yep, you're my favorite." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought it was odd. I've never had someone just offer to pay for one person's meal. Yeah. And like when we left, Alex and I were like, everyone was kind of like, "That was a little weird." I was a little bit. Caught it was off a nice guard. idea. It was very nice. Yeah, it was of him. nice. But Ben should have been nice and. Like, you know, yeah, technically Ben should have been the one to be like, oh, here, I'll buy a, a round of drinks for everyone. But, you know, this guy's not doing that <laughs> no. shit. Uh, I, I would have if we but we were leaving. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. And I was driving. So I would have just bought all of you guys drinks. Well, that would have been nice. Of you. <laughs> yeah. I was a little salty. And then uh, when I was walking out, he goes. You're a close second, bud. You're a close second. And I was like, fuck. Give yeah. you 50? He, he, you 50. 50. he just does, does tears. I, I get like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Go get he yourself a drink. Me and Mike, 10 bucks. Go get yourself a soda or something. We're like, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's actually really funny. That's a funny bit idea. God damn. Yeah, that was, that was weird, dude. I'm not going to lie. It's slightly weird. But it was uh, yeah. a nice thought. Yeah. On top of that, we got in trouble this week, or we got roped into being in trouble this week. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> by our, just seems to follow us, even when we're not looking for it. By our former partner, Jake <laughs> Sherbrooke. Jake banging Sherbrooke, as the post said. <laughs> Basically, uh, this guy in the area got mad because Jake posted this video of him like riding on the trails with his tracked uh, raptor. In, on his dad's land, in his dad's, like, ditches that the snowmobile trail runs through. And I guess the guy was super mad. He made this post. I suppose I got to read it. So this was the post. These guys are making all Minnesota ATV side-by-side owners look bad with the sled clubs. And we all know it is not true. I don't think I'm the only one that enjoys the C-Boys on YouTube. And I even get some entertainment value out of Jake banging Sherbrooke. In quotations, C boys drop out <laughs> <laughs> once in a while. But when I but what I don't like are these YouTube ass hats ripping up club trails with their tracked vehicles, four by four trucks, side by sides, and snow bikes. This is one hundred percent illegal as none of them are defined as snowmobiles by the DNR. And all of them should be ticketed, fined, or mandated or mandated to volunteer with the sled club whose trails they ruined. As banging was just bragging about his new sponsorship from FXR just about filmed just before filming his Ford Raptor with tracks ripping up the Midnight Rider trails outside of Cormorant. If this keeps up or they do not make things right with the locals slash clubs, FXR, 509, Polaris, and their other sponsors should hear about our disappointment. I feel like that was a ransom letter. It kind of was. It was <laughs> the, close. The weird part is the guy's local too. Yeah. And, and he's the only one that complains about it. And mm-hmm. the issue with it is like he goes on like a Facebook club and makes this post when it's like, dude, you could have just as well as came to our shop and said this to our face if you actually had a problem. So it's like, it, didn't he in the bar one time? 
Well, he mentioned it to me. He goes, he he bought me a beer. This is like years ago, and was like, "Hey, like, you guys need to stop riding your snowmobiles and and uh, whatever in the ditch." You're He's mad about the, the snow bike, which is absolutely or your snow bike. Yeah, that one's not. Ludicrous. And uh, a side by side on tracks, maybe the Raptor, but like it was on Dave's land. It was on Dave's land, but maybe the Raptor is like causing like a little bit of damage, but not really. Like, how is it damaging the trails? So he was super mad about that, and apparently he doesn't like our 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 Maverick on tracks going up and down the the, the trails. But we literally only take that thing out like once or twice a year, and we film a video with it. I think people forget, or they think that we're just out like putting miles on our stuff like all, all day. day. We're just out ripping, <laughs> just riding. I guarantee you, we're selling our Maverick now. It's got like eight hundred miles on it in like two years. Yeah. Like we hardly use it. Because we're busy doing other stuff yeah. and, and working, honestly. But people just think that we're just bombing up and down the trails every right. time we're out. Yeah. I feel and like we're seeing somebody else in a tracked machine. No, you do. That's the issue. If yeah. I drive to the Cormorant store right now, I will see one man, or I'll, be, I'll see at least one guy who will be like 50 years old plus in a, in a Polaris Ranger on tracks going through those trails. Yeah. Like there's, they're putting way more laps and stuff on than any of us combined. Yeah, but that, that well, that's the issue with basically all the trail systems or the ditches around here is if there's any kind of issues with think the trails or ruts or anything like that, they just immediately affiliate it with us because obviously we're the only ones that yeah. film it. But Suspect. what 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 you don't see is we just do it once. We don't damage anything either, it, which yeah. is ludicrous to me that yeah. they actually have an issue with it like it's really d doing nothing just to being it. especially when we're out like after a snowstorm just bombing the ditches it's not groomed yeah like there's right. nothing that we haven't even driven on groomed trails this year no we haven't so like to rope us in but i mean there is things that we've done in the past that yeah. obviously we're like not above the law in any means and we've never acted like that or said that we are so like yeah we're we're just Basically, I mean, maybe else. yeah, we've damaged the trails like once, maybe with like the four wheeler, the quad video. But mm -hmm. otherwise, yeah, which I, we, I mean, we did feel guilty about, but and we apologized to him when we saw him in the bar and everything. But I thought bygones were bygones. But yeah, I don't know. The uh, issue with it is now if there's any kind of issues, they just immediately affiliate it with us. It's almost not even the big issues. It's just like a hundred little issues that people see. Like if they see a burnout mark, they go. That was them. C boys. Yeah. They're out. And then they see a hundred burnout marks and then they see one burnout in a video and they go, they've been doing burnouts all over the county. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, no, yeah. we did it in our driveway. <laughs> just all day. Yeah. Like, what do you think? We don't have any back tires <laughs> left. Like, yeah. it's just, it's, it's the, just unfortunate. Yeah. But the point I want to say mm -hmm. is the only, like we do one strip most of the time and it's, it's literally from like our shop to the Cormorant store, which is on Dave's land technically. Mm -hmm. And we, we go down and back. Like we'll ride for maybe an hour to like get in like to get enough footage for a video, and they they just don't understand that. Like there's so many more people uh, contributing to their so-called problem, uh, much much more than us. But it's just funny that this guy is just being such a baby about it. Honestly, yeah, he is. But I mean, at the end of the day, I would I so he mentioned in it he was like, you guys need to. Uh, uh, get in and volunteer or make a donation or do something like that. And I have no problem. Like, uh, let's make a donation to him. Like if you're watching this right now, Mark, we're going to make a donation to the club instead of going on and, and starting some weird like Facebook beef. Like, yeah, the comment section yeah. was awesome yeah, on like, that. It was like back. most people honestly, like I don't see the problem here. And then like a couple people whining like Mark, but yeah, I mean, so I like, we appreciate you grooming the trails and everything. Cause we do use mm -hmm. them once a year maybe on <laughs> yeah. snowmobiles uh and yeah i mean we've gotten our use over the years so we'll make a donation yeah. mark hope you're happy yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny that jake jake was like telling like he basically jake was heated about, about it dude, he his, was actually pissed and we were like dude just his favorite thing to do like one of his literal hobbies facebook. is getting in facebook beef so we just grab some popcorn and watch yeah, <laughs> yeah the comment dude, section like, was if we ever see a groom trail like and we're like, let's take Ken's Bronco in the ditch. We're not going to take it on the trail because no. that's just blatant. And so yeah. like, same for snow bikes, bro. Like they just hate on snow bikes. Like skiers hate on snowboarders. Yeah, they think the snow bikes are back in the day. It too. It, they're really not. The track vehicles a little more, but 
Yeah. The snow the snow bike's lighter. Right. The snow bike hardly does any damage. Yeah. It makes one path instead it makes of yeah. two. Or like one it wide makes wide. no sense. Yeah. That's because they they can't ride one. That's probably it. Maybe. You know you know how four wheeler guys are. They're scared of dirt bikes. Yeah, but anyways, the post ended up getting deleted after Jake responded to it. Really? It was in oh, like some dang. private group and he like hopped in. And then I don't know if Mark deleted it or if like the club deleted it because they were like, this is just Dang. a bunch of whining. Yeah. But uh, mm. so that was something that happened this week. It was kind of exciting, I guess. No kidding. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I mean, we were in on the butt end of it with Jake, but we didn't have anything. Yeah, to I just yeah, let we him like, battle it out, dude. I don't want nothing to do with this. It. Yeah. yeah. We have scheduled a snowmobile ride out on February 5th, I believe. And I think we're going to start it at noon. So we did the same thing last year, except for last year we had absolutely no snow, which is pretty yeah. crazy because beginning of February, you'd think there was just nothing. There'd be snow, but last but there year is was this terrible. year. This year we ton. have a ton of snow. Yeah. So we're going to be starting the ride out um, at our favorite bar in Cormoran. It's called the Cormoran Inn. And uh, what we're going to do is like a 20 mile loop or maybe a little bit more. We did It'll 20, be like an hour long 20 ride. miles last yeah. year just because we'll we did no probably snow. longer than that. But yeah, we're going to do a ride out starting at the Cormoran Inn and at noon. Leaving leave, the parking lot. Yep, leave the parking lot at noon and then um, do about an hour, hour long ride, end up back at the Cormoran Inn. And then that's where we're going to be doing like a meet and greet, taking pictures, hanging out with all of you guys. Signing and autographs, signing selling autographs, merch. selling merch. And then uh, at the end of it, we're going to do like a big raffle. We got a bunch of 509 gear and a bunch of C-Boys merch and a bunch of different things that we're going to be giving away to you guys. Keep in mind, though, yeah. it is it is a bar, our favorite bar. So, like, they got food, drinks. Like, it'll be a, it's a great spot to, to hang out, and uh, there'll be plenty of other stuff to do. It's also yeah. my birthday that day. Is it? What? Yeah, so everyone. Really? Oh, yeah, February. February. Technically, we're going to dub this as Ken's birthday party. <laughs> All right. Yes. Dang, we're dude. throwing a birthday yes. party for Ken, a big Woo. snowmobile a, ride out. You know I how love much, that. You know how much Ken loves snowmobiling. <laughs> and he loves having birthday parties. And he's like, <laughs> oh. the attention all be on him. So we're inviting everyone. Oh, dude. I whoever wants that. to come. <laughs> how old are you turning, Ken? 27? Holy crap, Ken. I, I had to think about that one for a little bit. Oh, my gosh. We're going to tell everyone you're 17. Dude, that's going to be lit. <laughs> Ken's turning 17. We're inviting you all to his birthday party. Yeah. so February no, 5th. That's going to be sweet. So if you guys can make it, make sure you come on out. Uh, there's going to be plenty of parking, plenty of food and drinks and everything. It's going to be a good time. And I think the weather should be nice. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so if you, if you came last year, it's the same place we did it last year. Yeah. And there's plenty of places for trailer parking. And if you bring like a Jenny and a camper, you can park that there. Yeah, don't camp there. We're I don't we're gonna don't, camp yeah. Camping. You can't camp there, yeah, right? Camp. No, no, you can't camp there. <laughs> um. Sorry, that's why. Yeah, I didn't mean camp there. I just meant bring a generator if you want power. <laughs> you know, bring your well, generator. Some people have like toy shit. haulers. You can camp there. You can, stay, you can live there. You can, there you can like come camp in my house. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it Randy's should be. like, get these guys out of yeah. here. <laughs> Mike, Mike's out just hobnobbing <laughs> with them. How long are you guys staying for? Mike moves there, too. Throwing bush cans on the ground, too. <laughs> you should see the pile we got going in the pits. <laughs> well, why are you calling it the pits now? <laughs> That's Mike. Mike starts a snowmobile race around the Cormoran Inn. Oh, my gosh. No, well, no racing. They they don't have insurance Hopefully, that, so. Hopefully, uh, this time around, we won't uh, really do ourselves in the night before like we did last year so we can hang out late and you know drink a couple beers with the with we still hung out late and drank beers however we did mess up last yeah, year yeah we we went hard last year okay so last year we hit uh we hit a million subscribers like the week before and our parents wanted to throw us like a 1 million subscriber party so we had like all of our friends all of our family there terrible the night idea before. Yeah. terrible idea the night before so anyway I think we kind of showed it in the video, but after everyone left, we had obviously all the chairs, the plastic chairs and all the tables, and we had this big one million cake. We were hammered. We just thrashed it. We thrashed it. We were smashing chairs. We were celebrating. It was like the best, you know. We were was, celebrating in our style. Yeah, we it were It looked like a bomb went off. We, yeah. we, uh, we were caking each other with the big one million cake. Anyway, the next morning. The next morning. It just spread like wildfire that we trashed the party that our parents technically <laughs> set up. Wow, they were so they were so mad and disappointed in us. And we were like, How how are you guys surprised? 
I don't know why they're mad. This. It was and like, I, it was I either still don't get understand or that. Yeah. Thrown at we, yeah, we go like, well, what? It was besides the chairs, the table, and the cake. Like, what are you mad about? And they're like, that. <laughs> yeah. You made a <laughs> yeah. bomb mess. Didn't your mom come over the next morning? Yeah, yeah, to drop something off, and she goes, "What did you guys do?" Yeah, last I was in there night? fucking sweeping. <laughs> And I was like, oh, you saw that? <laughs> well, you weren't supposed to see that. I wasn't drinking, so I was up early fucking cleaning it up. And you guys were just getting rolling. Oh, my God, you guys were in rough shape. I was very hungover that day. God, yeah. Dude, we just... Well, we've, we've we're matured. growing up and we're figuring we're this out, but like every year at Heydays, we do the same thing. We, almost we, for every event. To be almost honest. at yeah. every event. Man, we might actually have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we always celebrate the event before the event. Right. Yes. We get so excited for it. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that this year. We're going to save it for save it for that night. Save it for that night. We'll see, though, because all of our friends are going to be in town. <laughs> right. <laughs> True. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. right, actually. Yeah. Did, did I see Evan was going to show up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we'll have it'll be a good time. So if you can make it. Cormorant, Minnesota, at the Cormorant Inn, February 5th. We leave the parking lot at 12. We'll have more stuff posted on it. but yeah. Dude, there's going to be so many people. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. going to be crazy. going to be fun. We got a lot of snow this year. so. And we're going to respect the trails just for you, Mark. <laughs> yeah, only snowmobiles. Ryan, do you want to hop back in? You said you had, a, you had done some kind of questionnaire, and we were going to answer some questions. Yeah, so last night when we were – talking about that we're maybe going to do a podcast we we normally used to do q and a's in our videos but we really haven't done yeah, them our videos a little slow, a long yeah. minute yeah and so now we got the podcast which is basically perfect and i was like there's got to be some good questions out there i'm sure right? i got like probably like 900 requests jeebus ha- not half maybe 15 or who's got the biggest dick <laughs> like people were very <laughs> big ken <laughs> I've never you know, gotten Big that. Ken for nothing. I don't think I don't think my ego could take it if if you know like we got a dick measuring contest. I don't think. No, but I don't think we need to. Big Ken. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a schlong. Hangs to his knee. But there was actually some good ones. Uh and one I thought was kind of good was what would you consider your best purchase slash investment? Which made me think of a lot of bad ones. Personally or company? Company wise. Probably company, yeah, just mm-hmm. collectively. Dude, I I was asked this question. My brother asked this question. He was like, what do you think like the biggest waste of money you guys have spent? And so I'm the, like, Man, so we, the opposite of that yeah. question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep, wait, yep. Yeah. Well, the you best, can, I'm, no, no, I'm intrigued yeah, the best. on the you biggest best waste or best. worst. Best. Oh, the oh, but, best. But what's the worst? Well, let's do, <laughs> let's do worst. best and then worst because I feel like the worst will have probably longer answer. <laughs> yeah. My well, personal... This is just me. I think obviously the shop. I mean, if you right. look at it, like this is going to appreciate in value. Uh, mm-hmm. We got land like it's yep. just it, it was clearly the best. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That's just me, I agree with that, too. hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. What was your answer to what was your worst, worst investment? I'm actually interested in this. Oh, dude, I actually had to think about that because most things that we buy are justified. Yeah, they're pretty pay profitable. Themselves yeah. Off. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you can at least make one video with it and then whether you just sell it after that, because realistically you shouldn't lose too much money if you buy something film one video with it and then yeah. sell it oh. a week and a half we're later which typically is pretty we, bad at the selling part yeah we, we have which we always hoarders. which we always mm-hmm. say well let's just film a couple videos and then get rid of it never get rid of it no. we never get rid of it and we have so much stuff now and it's just managed to just pile up outside now <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's, selling we, stuff has become so hard because you post something on facebook marketplace and your dms get flooded, flooded. by people yeah. like hey like want to talk which is i mean i understand but just not the place to do it because right. then you can't even <clears throat> respond to the people that are actually trying to buy it. Yeah. Right. But what would you say? Worst. Yeah, well, yeah, one of the worst or worst. At the time I said probably the Maverick tracks because we paid like 12 grand in and we filmed one video with it. <laughs> wow. We thumbnail entitled two videos with it. Yeah. They I just didn't, know. they weren't as big of a hit as I we guess, expected them. Yeah. To be. Yeah. I guess yeah. We thought they'd do and better. they always would break and something. They, they were yeah. a pain in the ass. Yeah, Straight they were, up. They were just big, heavy, a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not necessarily super easy to put on as far as time goes. But we sold it now, so we can't shit talk it too much. Right. I mean, it's still True. cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it just definitely didn't. Money spent to enjoyment gotten wasn't no. very high. There you go. Yeah. The smiles per gallon was not. Yeah. That's probably. Not just looks high. cool. Personally, my worst investment was definitely my jet ski. Yeah. That one oh, yeah. is Jeep still, is, it's still yeah. over there broken. Uh, So that's not good. But I think one of our best... I was just thinking about this. One, one of our best video investments, I mean, 
basically any of the shifter, or yeah. the, the mm-hmm. red shifter cart definitely is actually sure. one of our best the investments. Best. Well, any of them, yeah. 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 Um, the trike, that was really good just because yeah. it did really good on views. And, and that everything. was that's a good example of one we were kind of worried about. We're yeah. like, people are really going to like this thing, and luckily they did, but it's like, to, to again, to build one of those trikes, bro, yeah, it wasn't horrendously cheap. expensive. It was not cheap. The Shambo, I think, definitely oh, that was a great investment. Yeah, a Shambo. noticeable or a, a honorable mention. Right. Yeah, definitely. That one for, definitely. And how for how risky it was. Yeah, it was pretty it. risky because yeah. no one ever done that before. Mm-mm. Yeah, now it just sits. Mm. The The Shambo is fully, oh no, yeah, the Shambo is pretty much a snowbank. Yeah, yeah, it just it is a snow bank. <laughs> yeah, completely. which is cool to see. It's what, literally buried in three feet of snow. But what else you got for us, Ryan? Uh, someone brought up: Was there ever a time where there was big fights between the boys? Almost ended the channel. No, nothing's ever almost ended the channel. No, no. I mean, we definitely. I always think this. People ask. I bet you that's like the number one concern that in the beginning with like our parents and stuff. They didn't really care what they were doing. They maybe believed in the business here and there. But I know a lot of them were like, do you really want to like take all this risk with your friends? Will you guys be able to be friends and get along? Yeah. And I think as a team, we work pretty solid. Like when when it's the five of us and we, we put our heads together and like even yeah. if you think one thing and I think one thing, I'm like, well... The decision CJ is making is what he thinks is for the best of right. of the crew. Like we're all pointed in the same direction, which right. I think helps. Well, we don't. Do we yeah. all just know like like we need to keep each other happy, and we need yeah. to all work together if we want to like make it work. So, it, I mean, you right. have that in the back of your mind, kind of <clears throat> like, well, fuck, we can't really. It almost yeah. feels like instinct. Yeah, it, you know, working together is reaching a point where it just feels like it's. Yeah, I know. We've done. That's what we it do is. So much stuff like. We like move so much as a team when we get certain stuff done that sometimes when I'm by myself, like even now, I'm like, God, like I gotta do this all by myself. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. weird. You know, yeah. like yeah. just small things too. Like yeah. even if it's like painting my house, I don't know why. I'm sometimes like waiting for like the all right, let's do this. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 like I have to tell myself, like, all right, let's do this. I gotta get to doing this. I'm normally waiting for like decision. you know, because like we get everyone else moving and it's like easier to do something. Right. Yeah. Like it's really easy to act on a video when everyone shows up. And we're like, all right, we're doing this. Cause yep. like if, as soon as you're kind of like, oh, like you have some hesitation, everyone else is already moving. So you're yeah. like, all right, we're doing it. Yep. Yeah. That's, I, I do have a lot of respect for like the solo vloggers that just hold the camera themselves and they just like do it all themselves. Cause it does take uh, a lot of motivation to just get up and get yeah. going if you don't have somebody kicking you in the arse. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I think about that a lot. How, like what other company at least for people that we know personally like what other business has five partners five equal partners yeah true i you love know? that when we're doing like taxes and stuff and they ask okay so you're all equal they, it's like they've never heard of it yeah. equal ownership you what so yeah. is there a president and we're yeah. like not Kinda, really yeah i guess on we, paper. we on paper yeah it keeps shit in check though. Yeah. That's why it's good. People yeah. don't really understand. And it's an odd it. number. I've seen people Perfect. comment like uh oh it looks like Ben and CJ are making the most money or something like that. It's like, no, we just spend the most of our money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty funny. You get well, yeah. it's like obviously the car is like a huge part of that status, but it's so funny how people are like, Yo, Micah, what you're not getting paid as well? When are you gonna get a fancy car? And I'm just like, that's not just where I, that's not where I put my money, but you're you know. like I have Five cars, yeah, yeah, a couple dirt bikes. Oh, what are you kidding? I got three Rangers in the back. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think people do have a hard time understanding that, and I mean, it would be tough though if it wasn't equal ownership because at the end of the day, it's like you got to keep every everyone has to feel like fair. And um, mm-hmm. I guess to answer that question though, like the the hardest part has definitely been making sure that everyone's workloads are relatively equal because then if somebody else is doing a lot more work then it's then that's where like the unfairness yeah. comes in but mm-hmm. we like keep bitterness it, comes keep in, it pretty yeah. pretty fair i mean and yeah, even everyone's if everyone's kind of got their own yeah. everyone's got their own yeah. spots and i guess that's why it works so well mm-hmm. also just kind of what you said everyone's got to remember like you know everyone everyone's decisions are for the company's best interest mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. is which is really good, and we've all been on the same page about that for like, yeah. since we started, dude. Like, and everyone was cool about like making no money. 
for the longest time because every dollar we'd make, we would just put it back into the company and, and like everyone was, you know, on right. the same page about that. <clears throat> and like, I think the easiest part for us is like, we don't have families. We don't have like wives, kids or anything like that. So it's like really we kind of move as a, uh, we move as a group. Like a unit. As we a move unit, as the family in a, a sense. lot more than uh, in like our personal best interest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're a business that is 100% owned and operated by the employees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you see the people that, I uh, get that on like a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have like a, like a corporate jacket. It's like the North Face jacket. It's got their logo and it says 100% employee owned. I was like, dude, we should do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It is funny because we have learned that we don't always work that well with people from the outside. Right. Yeah, that's definitely and, been our biggest, uh, <clears throat> like, f- not I shouldn't say fights, but, like, as soon as outside people get involved, that's where, like, the issues start mm-hmm. coming in. I think in. it's just been because it was the wrong outside people, mostly. Like, if you had someone who, like, came in that was had the right vision and wasn't trying to, like, just take over and run the show, mm-hmm. then we would right. probably but take, with that take being them in said, a lot better, yeah. Still... We work. We see, we all see very eye to eye, mm-hmm. and someone yeah. else comes in, whether wherever they're at, we don't ever see eye to eye with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so I guess uh, to answer that question, has anything ended the channel? Oh, wow. uh, if we would have brought on that manager, that would have ended. The, I think yeah. that that would have one hundred percent ended fucked. the channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Avoided Which is that one. Crazy. Avoided mm-hmm. that one. That was good. Yeah, um, there was never anything that when we were like, all right, we're throwing the towel in. Yeah, yeah. I should, well, that's the answer to that. I mean, there was stuff that was like close, obviously, but yeah. But even if it was, for instance, if it was one person that was really on the fan, like we bring it back together, you know? Yeah. No, nah, we got to keep going. We got to do this. A lot of people might find it hard to believe, or at least interesting. Uh, up until not last year, but the year before, like we literally made below minimum wage. And it wasn't working minimum wage hours. It was making or like working 120 hour yeah. weeks. Like we we're grinding and you get your taxes back. Then you're just like, you made $17,000 this year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like we, we worked yeah. our asses off. So that was, what was, which was good is we had so many building years of us working together for no money. There was no ego in it. We we're yeah, just right. like, we're building well, this brand. And the thing was, is everyone, it looked like we were making money because luckily for us, business expenses were going to like toys that would normally be an extra thing that you would buy with. Uh, the little bit of extra money that you maybe have left over Mm -hmm. uh, after living expenses. So we got to basically go straight to the fun stuff and then use that as our business, you know? And that's why it didn't feel like we were eating shit because at time, the, yeah, I mean, right. of in, course, in that, that time, regard, yeah, yeah, the company was getting all these cool opportunities and toys and whatever that were like, yeah, this is great. Let's keep doing it. But it, yeah. it definitely isn't the same of like when you have to share something, you know, like the Maverick, like, yeah, right. like we all, I mean, it's technically all of ours, but it's like, it's not as cool as it just, you owned it. Yeah. There's definitely like a, no. a split. It's fun when it's like, and that's why normally people buy, like Ben bought his Corvette. It wasn't all of our Corvettes. Because yeah. then it wasn't like, I need the Corvette on Saturday. I'm going out. Yeah. And then, or like yeah. the Corvette breaks because I was right. doing burnouts and then Mike is driving it and it breaks right. from his. And we're like, well, you broke the Corvette, Mike. It would just get so messy. And the thing yeah. is, I feel like that would be a, an item that like really, it would be used for like video, like very rare. Like it'd be not that often and then like the majority of use would just be for pleasure yep so that's when it's like eh, that's sticky yeah we try to use like like we yeah. buy the truck and like, we're like okay you, we're gonna use this truck for making work. videos yeah and stuff like no around. one really hops in them and like drives them for fun just like yeah I'm taking Which the truck for the week a little unfortunate i guess vehicles may be different like if you need the truck use the truck yeah. but it's like a lot of times like I don't take the Maverick out for leisure, which yeah. is unfortunate, but it's not it's that I'm like terrified something. of breaking it, but also, yeah, it's like, and that's why I would never buy a personal side-by-side right now. Cause I hardly have time to ride the drive. The one that we have a uh, company wise. So whenever oh, somebody true. does buy something personally, <laughs> we though, just totally it exploit just, it for the channel. It just <laughs> immediately. Like when you guys, you guys all personally bought your smart cars and then it was like, Nope. <laughs> This one's getting destroyed. Yeah. This one's getting lifted. This one, which yeah. is after that happens, though, we all when we, we do the, the yeah. company as soon as it. like that happens, yeah, the money is in your hand. Yeah. We're all happy. So, it's really so there's not that, that. Yeah. but there is a few instances but you where it's like the risk. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, when the jet ski, great example. But like just in general, 
Like, I mean, when I bought the jet ski, cool. Next thing you know, we're in the back of the limo revving it out. Like, it was totally it fine. It does but suck because if your jet ski would have been just amazing. Let's say it made one video. You backflipped it. You do some more backflips. Then Ben hops on. He starts doing backflips. And it becomes this regular vehicle we drive on the channel. We'd have been probably been like, hey, we've been using this a lot for content. Ryan, we'll just give you the money you paid for it. But yep. instead, it just fucking... Sucked, and we, and we just and like go, you assume the risk. Yeah. It's like just your smart not have bought that, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And then now uh, I'm stuck with something that doesn't make good content. Well, it does make it good makes content, pretty good, yeah. Except it for it doesn't run. And then I'm stuck with something that doesn't run. Right. And I'm 15 grand out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is the. Uh, especially with cars, we've talked to like our accountant a lot about that. Is like, hey, is there any way that we can write these off, but personally buy them and it's like the weirdest situation, but can we make that work? And they're like, I don't think that's yeah, right. Really yeah. work. <laughs> but it's, and it's tough because like literally everything that we buy for our cars is to make the cars look cool on the channel and other toys as well. So With it the is car stuff. Like, I do. I probably would do it regardless. Right. I've, same. Yeah. I right. just do it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Because, yeah. But yeah, it helps you justify it. A yeah. Right. It yeah. does. You tell yourself that in your head, like I'm doing this for content. Yeah. That's why I'm spending this. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's why I try to back backflip to jet ski. Normally, I probably wouldn't have went out there on the first day, and I'm like, yeah. but I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. I love yeah. that. I love that that we all are on the same page about that. It's like you get it. You take the doors off your Bronco. You go through the car wash. You entertain. Well, and Ken ain't doing that for his own personal. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's we're that's over awesome. there holding like a freaking knife to Ken's neck. <laughs> Let's do this, Kenny. He's like, I don't want to. But okay, off camera, right. what everyone doesn't see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just kidding. But it does work good for like, let's say donuts in my TRX. I buy a car that like that I want to do donuts with. I'm like, man, I really want to do it, but it's but the first pointless. hour you bought it, <laughs> it's pretty pointless for a normal person to take their new car out and hoon it to the field and then do donuts in it but for us it makes content helps you buy the car or whatever so it's, it's nice also fun it, yeah and but it's fun it's something yeah. i've always yeah. wanted to do my dad said that he's still, yeah like, i've i've owned a lot of things but i've never bought a car and then went and just whipped donuts and driven it through a field you gotta lot. try it people yeah. don't do that and that's why it's so entertaining and it's like the coolest thing is uh we're getting to the level where it's just like the honestly the more money you make for us the more money we spend, the cooler things we can do. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really not like not that complex. It's not that complex. No. And it just gets more and it's more entertaining. Positive, and that's yeah. that's why, like, okay, the the big boys, like, the big YouTubers that can afford to do, like, the craziest stuff, that's why they have the craziest content. And the craziest views, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is. Everyone is uh, everyone's on the same page about that. Like, the, mm -hmm. the bigger we've gotten, um, the more, like, just the cooler stuff we yeah. buy and, and do with it. Uh, someone asked, and I didn't realize people didn't know this, but who is the white dog that woofs at the end of every C Boy video? I guess there's probably a lot of new people that so, don't know. So, I guess have we ever even stated have that? Have we though? ever explained it? So, in Cormorant, this Not was directly. like years ago. The dog's actually passed away now, but uh, there was two guys running for mayor, and like, I mean, I liked the guys, but some of the people didn't like one of the guys. Some of the people didn't like the other guy. And then there's this dog that always would just walk around Cormoran, this really big, white, fluffy dog. And Duke. like he would just walk miles. Yeah, his name was Duke. Anyways, someone put his name on the ballot, and everyone voted for the dog. <laughs> so these two guys lost the dog. So then the Duke... The dog was the mayor of Cormorant, and it made like for national two terms. Dude, yeah, it made terms. like he was national on, I think he was on Ellen. The Today and, Show. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it was on Ellen, but he made it on like Today Show. Like if you type in Duke the mayor or mayor of Cormorant, Minnesota, yeah. it's a dog. People are like, man, you guys are the most people or the most famous people from Cormorant, Minnesota, which is like a population yeah. of seven people. And we're like, actually, no, no, no Duke, Duke. <laughs> Duke already put us on the map, dude. Yeah. Cormorant really is turning out some content creators. We got <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. We got freaking yeah. Jake and Duke. And Duke, yeah. What? Population to, uh, or population creating content. To it's pretty good. Not. Yeah. It's pretty solid. Yeah, it's got to be an insane ratio. That's true, dude. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if we could like get our own dog and do like make the dog the mayor. Because then you well, know you can't you got any issue that any you locals need. any locals no. that got problems. If we go got to, a go dog mayor. and it was like a good unit of a dog, we could make it the mayor. I know, but and we should have to wander steal. around and like. Who's the mayor now? Nobody. Know, nobody. I don't think so. Yeah. They, they just couldn't do Why it. Why did they need a mayor? I don't know. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, like, what? 
What was the point? I don't know. I, th- I think I think it was, it was more good. so just for the title, and then no one wanted to give him to him, give the title to him. But all right, what else you got for us, Ryan? Dude, mm. hold up. Could could we get somebody on the inner side, like the inner works of of uh, Cormorant government, and do what? I don't think we need one. Get Big Ken in there oh. on like the board, or Big like Big Ken would just say no to every move. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, I can't so get anything done around here. A lo- a couple local kids want to. Uh, do this. No. No. <laughs> nope. I wasn't even done saying what I was saying. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't even look up. He's just scrolling with his leg, smoking his vape. Can we? <laughs> okay. What else you got? Okay. This is a good one. Seaboy's top moments when they got in deep trouble as kids. Deep. I've got quite a few, honestly. I don't know what, if there's deep trouble, but. I, I was thinking about that when you guys were talking about the cake smashing, chair smashing mm-hmm. story. I haven't really gotten in trouble in a long time with like no. my parents, which has kind of been nice. You know, you grow up and then... A, I never a, gotten like real serious trouble. Like it would be like I was in trouble, but it wasn't like I was like, fuck, like I couldn't do anything or got taken away. But like one time, so this was my senior year. I got in trouble on my own. I, my parents didn't even have to... Uh, uh, oh, with the police? They, police? they didn't even have to like... Uh, Whatever discipline, discipline. discipline. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the word. They they didn't have to discipline me because I was already in so much trouble. Um, so <laughs> who? Just what I'm gonna tell you. So uh, <laughs> it was senior year of high school, and uh, it was like the end of the first semester. So we had finals coming up, and uh, in math, and I was always pr- a pretty good student, honestly. Like I I could hold my own, and um, I'd get like B's and A's for the most part. Um, anyways, in, in my math class, uh, some kid went and the teacher had a picture of the answer sheet of the final (laughs) on her desk. And he took a picture of all the papers and, uh, it started kind of, you know, circulating, whatever, like someone, someone had it. And, uh, I was kind of on the inside circle. I didn't need, I didn't need to cheat. I, I, I would have honestly taken the final and been just fine. But I'm sitting in class, and uh, the kid behind me was the one who took the pictures. And he goes, I was kind of one of the early receivers, but he mentioned it to me. I'm like, you got, you got pictures of the final? Okay, okay well, uh, you mind sending that to me? Because <laughs> obviously I want to see. Like, I'm just using my resources at this point. Yeah. Like, I didn't need it. You're a hustler, I mean, dude. Yeah, why wouldn't I? <laughs> why wouldn't I? So, well, so maybe because I didn't have uh, maybe ethics back then, but <laughs> no. Uh, but it's just, I didn't think it was such a big deal. So he sends it to me and, uh, I get it. I'm like, great. Well, it starts sending around more and more and circulating pretty soon come time for the final. Uh, I go in and like, I didn't even like cheat. Like I, I obviously saw the shit, but I didn't like go in and have like stuff written down or anything. I just knew what was coming up. And like, I, I, I knew how to solve all the stuff, but yeah, I had definitely a head start. So I finished the final, or I'm taking the final, and the kid in the class that had the had the fucking <laughs> sent me the pictures in the middle of the final. I'm like three fourths through. <laughs> the principal comes in and goes during the finals. <laughs> yes. Wow! Oh fuck! We gotta take his name out. Uh, he actually listens to the podcast. He's actually <laughs> a pretty cool guy. Anyways, legend. Uh, he pulls him out of the class. I'm like fuck i'm like here we go i'm looking around and like there's another kid in the class that had it too and we both look at each other (laughs) we're like oh no this isn't good this isn't good so he pulls him out and takes his phone immediately that's when i knew i was fucked because took his phone right out of his hand as soon as he hopped out of the class can a teacher do that back back then they could apparently i'm I'm sure they still can Um, so i'm like fuck this isn't good so i they just go and turn the test in. It was three. Really? You just gave up? Wait, uh, CJ. Wait, you narked on yourself? <laughs> no, Are you I, serious? I was like, I was like three fours through. Fuck it. Why do I even bother doing this? I'm getting in trouble. Anyway. No, but oh, this is why I did text, it. This is why I did it. I went and turned that shit in so I could get on my phone and I deleted all the pictures and all the messages of me sending it to other kids. Oh, <laughs> it was a so, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm I don't wanna, you know. So I go and sit, I'm like, ah, 
fuck. Here we go. You know, so I'm fucking deleting all these pictures of us, me and my buddies drinking, doing all, the, <laughs> doing all this bad shit on my phone too. I'm like, he's going to be going through. Like, I better clean this up. So I'm sitting there. Of course, here he comes, uh, CJ Lotzer. And I think he pulled the other kid too, or another kid. And we fucking step out. I'm like, God damn it. Here we go. He takes my phone. I'm, like, oh. I'm just like, at this point, I know I'm in for it. So I'm like, okay, we're good. So I walk in. <laughs> And uh, there, was an, <laughs> there was another kid in there. This kid, it was actually from a different math class because it was all the same final. And he got caught because he was he had his fucking phone out. If this kid wouldn't have gotten caught, none of us would have been caught. But he got his, had his phone out. The teacher saw it. And then Idiot. they fucking, yeah, he narked, I think, or trace it. So I walk in the office and they got like these rooms they're putting us in. And I'm like looking around. Never oh, even been in the principal's office. This is my first time. So I'm like looking around. And I, I see the kid, and he's, like, sitting there, like, crying in the room. <laughs> and he just looks at me like this. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I just go and sit down. And I'm like, if they fucking cranked the cold air in that bitch. I don't know if they were purposely trying to do this to me, but they made me, like, sit in this room with, like, nothing for, like, an it's like hour. like a prison cell. And it was, like, the last cell. period of the day. So everyone got out of school. I had to go to hockey practice. Uh, everyone gets out of school. And I'm still sitting here. I'm like, God damn it. Here we go. So anyways, he comes in, basically like asked me all this shit. And he couldn't find anything on my phone. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I just looked at it and I, I deleted it, which was a lie, which not cool. But I did it for I did it for the greater good because literally fucking half the class like everyone fucking had that thing, and I stopped the trace, dude. I stopped you were like, the trail. You were like, I stopped the, the trail. I'm the last one who had. I was it. like, no, I didn't send it to anybody. Nothing saved so many people, and like people after. I'm not kidding you. For like the next like week, we're like, hey man, like thanks for doing that. Like I'm not kidding you. When I came to hockey practice, there was like a few kids. I'm not gonna say their names. They were like fucking nervous that yeah. they were gonna get it, and I was like, no, no. I told them like I didn't send it, and like I had everything to lead, and they're like, dude, I ain't no <laughs> dark. Yeah. Like yeah, like. So anyways, I go home from school then. I tell my mom. She's like, well, that's not good. Because I'm going to get a zero on the final. I got a zero oh, on my math final. Oh. I could have gotten a fucking A, honestly. Like, I, I knew yeah. all the shit. But I was just like, I mean, I'm going to use it if it's going around. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that happened. I got a zero on my math final. Still got into college. Nice. Yeah, luckily well, my you shit. Didn't, my you shit sure you didn't get prior, to retake it. No, because I had like a 91 in the class. So I right. got a zero and it was worth like 20% of your grade. So I ended up like getting a 71%. Yeah. So Dang, I still got to see. They really screwed Yeah, you it's there. a good thing though because some of the kids that got caught cheating, they had like, uh, you know, maybe like a 70 already. So like they kind of need it. They mm -hmm. got like Fs, dude. I don't know yeah. what they had to do. Yeah, my dad comes home and like my mom heard. And all my dad say was like, did you, uh, did you like tell anyone else? Like, did you tell them like, or I don't know what he used, but it, he basically asked me if I ratted out any of the other kids. And I go, no. And he goes, okay, good. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. That was it. He was just like proud of me that I didn't rat anyone else out. And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's important. So I didn't I didn't narc anyone else out. And then basically I got fucking a suspension from hockey. I just came back from a concussion. Missed half the season. Got suspended for another two weeks. I fucking played like seven games that whole year. <laughs> but... uh <laughs> Damn, that dude. might have saved you actually quite a bit of trouble if you were suspended from hockey. Yeah, I know. I'm not, it might have been it might have been due for it, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, that was a hell of a story. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot took so about long. that. Yeah. Hey, hey whatever happened, uh, wasn't that around the same time? And maybe you don't want to talk about this, but your mom came downstairs and there's that girl sitting in your. Oh, that was the, the that was a year before. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, I always remember that story, I, dude. I thought that's initially what you oh, were no. gonna but talk I'm, about. That was like another. Kind of the same uh, theme, technically. Uh, basically, like, I was a junior in high school, and, like, there was this girl. She was an upperclassman. And, like, we had been hanging out. <laughs> we had been hanging out. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Wait, I love that. She was she was in grade twelve. I was grade eleven. <laughs> oh, you hey, stop it. But when you're younger, that's that's pretty cool. Oh no, yeah, I feel <laughs> that's pretty cool. And yes. she was she was like at the time was uh, she was like pretty popular girl for how good looking she was in in school. Anyways, uh, I had like somehow started talking to her from some party or whatever, and and we started Snapchat or whatever and. Uh, we started doing this thing where I like she would sneak over and I'd sneak her in through my window and she'd like stay the night when my parents were upstairs. But then you have like an egress window or whatever. 
Or no? no how'd you no, get it was in? like in the window well, dude. Yeah, oh, in the window like, well. No, that's what like I meant. A yeah, big thing. You yeah, just, but you there's only like stairs. It was like a whole other entry. I yeah. thought, but, <laughs> uh, a window sill. Coming through the window. A whole other entry. CJ's taking that. Yeah. <laughs> coming and going from the house. Just just come, during the we'd day. hang out, and then uh, you know she'd leave in the morning. Anyways, I thought my parents were leaving that morning. Uh, this, I did this a couple times. I thought my parents were leaving that morning um, early. They didn't fucking leave. So like we wake up and. Uh, I'm like, shit, like, it's like 11, like, I'm going to go up there and see, you know, what's going on. And normally I always shower and like get dressed and all this. For some reason, I throw on a fucking robe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, are you Hugh Hefner? I look like Hugh Hefner walking up there. I look like Hugh Hefner. Smoking a big old stogie. No, I don't fucking know why. So I walk up in this robe <laughs> What color was it? I need it for the mental image. <laughs> it was brown. Uh, it was like, but it was like a nice little robe. Like, I'm envisioning I it red and velvet, know. dude. I got it for Christmas. <laughs> like, it was like some nice, you know. So I walk up there, see my mom. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, well, I can't just run back down. So, and she kind of seemed like she was already pissed off. I don't yeah. know what her m- m- deal was. But, you know, when you're in high school, I feel like your mom was always mad. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and not always, but it seemed like it was very easy to piss them off, mm-hmm. especially at that age. Um, so I like sit down, start making cereal. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> she's just having fucking <laughs> girls down. Well, just yeah. It out. Yeah. S- sitting down there. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, basically my mom, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back downstairs. My mom all of a sudden is like, uh, I'm coming to get your laundry in your room. I'm like, Oh, I, I can get it. I'll take it. And she's like, no, no, I want to. I want to go and get it. Like, she must have had some suspicion. I don't know mm. if she had heard something upstairs that night or something. But <laughs> anyways, she want to fucking go down there. I'm like, no, no, no. Seriously, like, we're, we're good. We're good. She's like, no, no, I'm, I'm going. She's fucking moving. I mean, what am I going to do? Push her? Like, I can't touch her. <laughs> yeah, like, rips the basket <laughs> yeah. up. Like, no, no. Let me get, you know, basically, I'm like, ah, fuck. Here we go again. You know, I've always been one of those guys. Like, when I get in trouble, I don't, I'm just like, I accept it. And I'm just like, here we go. Relatively cool with it, honestly. I'm like, I, I, yeah, it's, it's whatever happens, happens. At this I messed point. up. You got so, me. well, because you do. So, you look like a dweeb if you're like, yeah, I didn't yeah. do it, even though you clearly yeah. did. You just so I just we walk in there, fucking uh, the girls in there like wearing like one of my shirts <laughs> and like just like sitting at the end of the bed and it's just like me, me, the girl, and then my mom because I like ran in first and I was like, I kind of, I think <laughs> I ran in. I was trying to tell her like. Like hide. to hide, but like, where the fuck was she gonna hide? So like, I'm here, she's here, my mom's here, and she goes, "You stayed the night, didn't you?" Uh, like she's just mad, and like I'm like looking here, look at the girl. The girl's mad at me. My mom's mad at me, looking at me. Both of them are mad at me, and then uh, she's like, just leaves, and she goes, "Well, I suggest she leaves," and I'm just kind of sitting there, I'm like, "Fuck," and I just look at the girl and I go, "Well, I guess you don't have to use the the window anymore." <laughs> <laughs> Or I said something like that, like, well, I guess you can, can use, use the, the front, front door, door now. <laughs> and yeah, that was... Uh, she's like, no shit, CJ. Yeah. God, but then that, the, the funny thing about that story, so then I was supposed to go to a concert that day, couldn't go, mm. and I had to come and, like, do work uh, with my dad. So, like, we were, like, raking leaves and bring them to the dump, and it was just kind of quiet. Me and my dad are riding to the recycling place to dump the leaves that day, and we're just sitting there in the car, and he just kind of, like, chuckles to him, so I was like... <laughs> I'm like, and he's like smiling. I'm like, what? What? And he goes, I bet your mom was pretty surprised when she walked in there and just starts <laughs> laughing. And that was it. Your dad's just he thought chopping it was up the whole yeah. day. Oh, yeah. man. Legendary. Good yeah. old, that was a long time ago, Good old ago, sneak though. out stories. That was a long time. I would have been like 16. You know, it was a long time ago, so... Just to clarify, wait, 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 what are you worried about? Well, I'm just clarifying. It wasn't any that I was underage. I was a minor, and so was <laughs> no. <she. laughs> CJ is looking for what is it? Reciprocity after a certain amount of it time. went off my record <laughs> with his mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it went off his parental record. Yeah, his parental well, record. They don't care. They probably think this is funny. They they watch all the podcasts. So. <laughs> Mike, you were a little DJ. I never got the big fat like trouble. Trouble. I like I snuck out all the time. I did that. I didn't come home on time. Like that was just I didn't want to be at home. But I guess like for the story, I 
am I'll just preface this now. I guess this won't work to even say before the story, but I'm not a thief. I was not like a a person who <laughs> Yeah, that's what a right. thief would say. Right. But I'm not, I wasn't the guy got him covered. I'm not a thief. I'm not a little sticky fingers. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, like, like I wasn't prone to having sticky fingers, but But you were a klepto. Whatever that is. That's like a serial stealer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're addicted but to stealing. But like my mom Lepto, sorry. would load my lunch money up for lunch. You get a milk and you get lunch. That's it. Like you don't get to get the special like ice the, cream through the school, right? Yeah, you don't yeah. get to get the Capri Suns or the cookies or any of that. None of that shit. And it would piss me off because I was like, "Can I like load my own money on it?" And she's like, "You just don't need the cookies and stuff." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> whatever." You well, then I found out that you could just steal the cookies <laughs> 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 or steal the Capri Suns or steal. <laughs> if you were feeling risky, you could steal ice creams. Like that one felt like a little more because those were the school actually had to pay good money for those. I assume the cookies were cheap. And what you would just put it in your pocket? No, I would just like grab it and then hold it under my tray oh. and then type my oh. number in. And it's like, it was just seamless. I did it a lot. <laughs> and then so he started, yeah. so he started with <laughs> was, cookies yeah. and then he worked his way it, up to I worked up to like the pay Televisions items. Yeah. Right, at right. Best Buy and then pretty soon got to cars. Yeah, how are you doing this? Yep, just one hold it time on he tray. St- one time he stole a train. <laughs> let, him, let him tell the story. And then I just remember them like catching on to me and they like smack my wrist a few times and I just kept doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> really? And Classic then I just Michael remember behavior. it was like the, what, what, uh, what's under your tray? I go, I like tried dropping it. I was like, nothing. And they're like, I see it right there. And then I was just like, all right, you got me. Didn't think they would do that much. They suspended me for three days. What? Yeah. Well, at least you got in school lunch. suspension, I should say. That's a big oh, difference. Oh, yeah. But I had to sit in a cold, dark prison like room for three days alone and just do homework. Yeah. Alone. It was, Did you at least let your lunch money build up then? So you didn't have to steal it? <laughs> Well, Too bad it wasn't out of they school. Get, they feed you lunch when you're in suspension. <laughs> Just bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like bread and, and milk and a peanut. That was funny. Yeah. So what did so your parents do? They were pretty upset because they were just like, really stealing? And then they, that was kind of the moral of the story. Like, really? You're going to be a thief? And then that was kind of the end of my stealing days. <laughs> we knew That's you your were plan t- with life? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Steal cookies? <laughs> it just pisses me off you were good at it, too. <laughs> That's what they, they said, said that? No. Oh. <laughs> no. I, uh, I do remember a time where I got in quite a bit. It's probably the last time I got in big trouble. Should uh, be good. It, so it was in college. It was freshman year. And you know when you're a freshman, you got the dorms. And uh, you don't really, like, have a, a place to go. I didn't have any upperclassmen friends. You know, the upperclassmen throw parties, but you, like, hope you get the invite, right? So for Ken's birthday, it's Ken's birthday. He has had legendary birthdays. Uh, yes. think of it. <laughs> Always had a legendary birthday. I've thrown him a legendary birthday party since you were, what, 19? No, that was friend. 21. He doesn't even appreciate it. You're yeah. Look. <laughs> Every single one, I will. I'll put in Snapchats of it right now because they were so legendary. Come to think of it, so anyway, Ken's birthday, and I will go. Oh, I want to throw Ken a birthday party. Where at my mom's house <laughs> in Fargo? My parents are on vacation. Great plan. I pre-rented a carpet cleaner. I had this <laughs> oh, shit, shit planned out. I had a theme. It was Jersey right, party. Jersey. All of our college <laughs> friends were coming. Jersey party. It was it was great. Bunch, Ken, of, bunch of frat douchebags wearing jerseys. It was jerseys mostly for the girls Wendy's to house. wear just jerseys and nothing else. Yeah. So we we had it planned out. And uh party gets going. It's going great. Ken's out at the bars with his cousin and his family. They're having fun. This is Ken's we're 21st getting, birthday. Ken's we're 21st birthday. We are, we're having a time. So anyway, people that I don't know start showing up because you throw a party in a That's college town. That's starts getting big. People, people just start coming. So I'm like, crap. You know, it went from a shoes on or a shoes off party to a shoes on party. And that's Fuck. when things get bad. So anyway, party starts growing. I'm like, yeah, this is still, this is still fun. This is still cool, you know, meeting new people, whatever. <laughs> and then I will give him a shout out because he knows he did it. Our friend Britton Thompson. Britton. Britton. Good guy, but got hammered. And my neighbor had been watching the party develop, Christ. right? And he was actually uh, the brother of a high school teacher of mine. And me and that high school teacher never got along. So anyway, he didn't like me. So anyway, party starts growing. My neighbor starts noticing. This yeah. party. 
Britain leaves and goes and tackles the neighbor's snowman. Just, you know, was drunk, kid, having fun. That'd be funny. That was that was the last straw for that the neighbor. That was the straw that broke the neighbor's back. The neighbor's back. So that anyway. worked so hard on it. Yep. So no, you know, neighbor coming over, uh, you know, hey, shut down the party, you know. No, cops. <laughs> oh. Calls the cops. So I'm standing there and, or well, then, so we're partying there, having fun. And then we see a cop drive by and someone goes, there's cops, there's cops, there's cops. And we're like, everybody flips. Yeah. So I'm hiding. I've got like a group of like 15 good friends. I'm hiding in the Stuffed garage. Stuffed us in the garage. The garage. That's Mike. Got to go to the garage because yeah. I knew I was the chaperone good. for the garage hiding. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we put people downstairs, upstairs. We were hiding them everywhere. So I go to get the group out of the garage. I l- shut the garage door, lock it, turn around, flashlight. And I'm caught mid stride wearing a jersey, no probably no pants, no pants, no pants probably. <laughs> Why'd you have your pants Balls off? hanging out. No, I was, <laughs> I was wearing shorts. I was wearing shorts and no shoes because we were in a rush. And there's just a cop in the backyard. And I go, Fuck. "What you got?" So I stop and I'm like talking to her or whatever. And she's like, "This your house?" And I was like, "No, it's my mom's." She's like, "What would your mother say?" Because it, it was a lady cop. Oh, and, and she knew you were having a party. Obviously, yeah. yeah. She she figured out pretty quickly that there was, there was a party, and she goes, "Well, you know," and, and gets me going, makes me start feeling really bad. And I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm sorry." And she's like, "What is your mother gonna say when she gets back?" And you know, her house. Did she let you have the party? I was like, "No, I rented a carpet cleaner." And literally, the cop like almost chuckled <laughs> in that moment. She was like, "Damn, pretty smart, yeah, calculated." And she was like. Like, what are you going to do the rest of the night? Like, you need to shut this party down. Everyone goes home. Because I'm thinking, I'm getting a minor. Everybody's getting a minor. Like, we're, we're fucked. Except for Ken. Because I actually was there. And I uh, I wasn't drinking because I couldn't drink at that time. But Ken was parading around the house. I'm 21. I'm 21. I'll go out and talk to the cops. And he was, like, blacked out drunk. And I'm just like, Ken, Ken, stop. Stop. And all these people, like, are in the bathroom. Like, he's going to get us in trouble. <laughs> no, no, I'm 21. I'm 21. I'm like, dude, stop. I forgot about that. I, I fucking that stuffed too. him in the bathroom. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I defused the cop and... uh. She goes, okay, we'll shut the party down, clean it up. I'm like, we're good. Let everyone then. off. But like, I'm coming back in an hour. If anybody's here, like, you're all anybody, getting written yeah. up. And I'm like, okay, great. And I walk in. I'm like, everybody get the fuck out. Yep. So everybody bails out of the house. They're coming out of the garage. I think the cops were probably like, yeah, oh, crap. There's a lot more <laughs> yeah. people here than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many cops. There's quite a bit of cops. And I walk out the back, and I have my car parked in that alley. And I was a sober <laughs> yes. one, so I had to drive. And I had All a right. Subaru Dubber X at the time that was straight, straight piped. piped. Yeah. Super fucking loud. <laughs> Cold starts. I started up. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> And the cops, Ryan said he was standing next to him. And they started like looking around like, what, what is that? What is that? <laughs> And then you're sitting there like idling, letting it yeah. warm up. And you're like, like, get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. got mad at me. I'm standing like, there like it. shivering in my freaking jersey. Get him out of here. They get yeah, mad get, at me. Get him out of here. So, so I drove Micah and Ken and maybe one other, I think, and I don't maybe know, one, one other it. person were with us. And we went to Micah's apartment. Ken was so drunk, he started throwing up in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we got the most legendary, legendary meme picture. ever. Ken. And then <laughs> we, we left. We had to go back. I wanted to go back and help you uh, diffuse whatever situation we had. And we left Ken yeah. on my bathroom floor. But <laughs> Micah <laughs> accidentally took his phone. So we left oh, Ken yeah. at this apartment, half like way across town. <laughs> he Without woke no up phone. in the morning, no phone. <laughs> <laughs> no one there and it was like a pretty sh- no offense it was a pretty shitty apartment <laughs> like, uh, Ken just woke up on the floor by yeah. I don't know if you really had like couches then how long did you live there because there was a time where there was like no extra Can we couches put the right we, Ken throwing yes, up we in the toilet I will, I will. I'm we pretty sure I got to- a selfie with him <laughs> <laughs> so many beautiful memes have came of that <laughs> and so yeah <laughs> Anyway, uh, the the cop oh, leaves. Man. Everybody else leaves. I'm standing on my on my porch, you know, watching everybody get out of there. And I look over, and my neighbor is standing like this <laughs> on on his porch. And I was like, "This you, fucking asshole." Well, that's when off? I figured out. No, not like in freaking Project X, <laughs> where you're standing like that. But I that's when I figured out. I'm like, that's why I got the cops called. So anyway, uh, you know, cops leave. Whatever. I think I'm like, okay. Got the house cleaned up. Justin friggin' puked on my sister's floors. It was a mess. <laughs> uh, 
got the party all it's cleaned up. Out. Everything's good. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm good. My parents come home. I was not good. That The next day? No, they came home like half a week later. I'd forgotten yeah. that I even did the party, you know. And they came home, and I got reamed so hard. My parents, like, canceled a vacation because they were like, we can't trust him to be alone. <laughs> And but in, as you're in college, yeah, I was like in college, yeah. and ch- like for change the locks for quite a while. <laughs> it was like we're gonna be gone this weekend. Do not throw a party. Yeah, and I was like, no, I learned my lesson. So I think I threw another party. Jeebus, but, yeah, bad boy, Ryan, dude. <laughs> something about Ken's birthdays. They're yeah. so legendary. Well, we, it sounds like gosh. February fifth, the snowmobile ride out, aka Ken's birthday party, birthday bash. I know. Ken's I'm gonna big, be another big Ken's horse. big birthday bash, dude. I don't. It's a bash. I want to maybe have like. Bash. Ken sit down, dude, or maybe it would get too long, but Ken's 22nd, almost, almost just as legendary. His 22nd, Ryan threw the party at his apartment. Oh, yeah. Ryan's apartment was the best place to party, period. Yeah, it we just was. You we really talked it. about Ryan's college days. And and it, we'll, we'll do a whole podcast on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. stories. We've got a lot of stories today. Open the year. I think that was up. the last of the questions mm-hmm. you said. All right. Nice, oh dude. man, that was fucking funny. There's, dude. I honestly like if I seriously thought about some of that stuff. Like, if you look, once you start looking back, you can remember more and more stuff. But mm-hmm. like, I hardly remember anything right now. I gotta start digging for it. But I feel like we got a lot of funny stories yeah. like that. So, Nelk dropped their NFT last week, and uh, there's obviously been a lot of speculation on it. I feel like uh, a lot of people are saying it's a cash grab. Other people are, you know happy about it and thinking it's a great investment uh ben and i bought one well, you each. Bought one actually too. ben bought two i bought two yeah really? what do you buy them with ethereum yeah okay. it costed 0.75 ethereum and they've actually gone up theory like i mean they're i think the value of it is like a 1.2 right now ethereum. so so we would have made uh some money if we were to sell technically but also ethereum has gone down the price but uh so yeah, what are you guys gonna do with them? Are you gonna like I, hold I don't on? Because Nelk it, says that they're gonna have like hotels and I clubs. mean they got like a lot of utility, utility behind but that's them. you see the problem. And, and honestly, the reason I bought it was because I don't own any NFTs, and I was curious on what it yeah. would be like. And I also just believe in Nelk. Like I think those guys are like they, if if anyone's gonna say they're gonna do something and do it, it'll probably be them. Mm-hmm. Like they they can pretty much do anything. I feel like. Anyways, yeah, the the whole deal with the NFT was that it basically is like a, a ticket. Um, so there's utility to it rather than just like you're buying it for this like flex of I own this expensive picture. picture. So with the NFT, you get into like exclusive events and all this stuff that they haven't even announced yet. But supposedly they're going to like set up these lounges and like uh, gyms and bars and casinos. And like, really? and the I guess they only said this about the lounges, but they said... Um, only the NFT holders will be able to get into it. But you only have 10,000 NFTs. And they sold, so I should have said this earlier. They made like 23 million yeah. in two minutes. Off the initial minting. Of, like the drop of the NFTs. They made that much fucking money. Because they sold, they so they, there's only 10,000 of these <laughs> NFTs. So when they sold them, each one was, it equated to like, 30, like 200 bucks, 3,200 bucks in Ethereum. No, it was 25, but yeah, either tw- way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, they sold out in like nine minutes or something like that, which is crazy. Wow. I think they, I think that was like one of the most successful NFT mints <clears throat> or something like yeah, that. Yeah, m- most but lucrative, now, I think. So they make $23 million on the initial drop, right? And now they well, got a... F- 23 million doesn't go that far if you're creating utilities behind of like, you know, make, right. making gyms, right. making bars, yeah. making restaurants or hotels or anything like that, that they say they want. Especially the if to. the, if, if these things are like you bought the tickets so now it, it earned you access to it. Like, is there going to be a membership fee on top of that? Because you're going to need money to run the place. Yeah. So now like that, that now, money's going to run out quick. Well mm-hmm. now, now they're just hoping that the value of each NFT, cause then you can go and sell the NFT goes on, up on like the secondary market so then you could resell it for uh one ethereum so an extra thousand bucks and then um the creator of it gets a royalty so, so Nelk could get 10 so ne- Nelk gets 10 percent of that oh. so every I, time I, it's sold i'm assuming that they you know take the initial investment of the 23 million 
create the utilities that they or a couple at least yeah. and then they hope that there's going to be demand for it therefore people reselling they get royalties yeah. on the resale of it but but 10,000 people, people dude, how like, far does yeah, that go exactly that's the thing like and some people own multiples like you. I think I looked at the actual ownership amount. And it's like 6,000. Yeah. So realistically, like you have a, you build this big lounge and only 6,000 people can get to it. And let's say you built it in fucking California. People all around the world own the NFT. Yeah. How are they going to, like, they're going to travel just to go to your lounge? Like, I don't know. Right. Well, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, no. it's like but you can only, like. Did they say they were only, obviously it's a limited thing. Did they say 10,000 and cut? I mean, you could or bring a friend. That's, but the, that's no, but the point of it, they, though. Right, it's right, 10, right. I'm saying, but I'm saying, yeah. was it ten thousand and done, or we're yeah. like, we're gonna release ten thousand in another that, year from now, that like, would something just, like that? that would just no, because then it the, completely defeats the would, demand of it, because right. then the supply yeah. is increased, right? And it's yeah. really hard. And to, the value goes down. I'd assume for anybody, like if we ever did it, if any if anybody, how do you know what that sweet number is? You know, because you want to yeah. keep it exclusive. I, it seems like everyone's doing ten thousand. Like Lana Rhodes dropped her NFT, which this one. I I don't understand it all. Is it a picture of her butt? No, it's like just multiple like basically cartoon pictures of her, and she did ten thousand as well. I was surprised, and they sold, sold all of them. Really? But wow. she what, sold right, hers what meant for 0.15 Ethereum, so significantly less. But I checked today on OpenSea, and they're selling for like one and a like one Ethereum. Jeez. So, so you could have made money. Yeah, you could made a. I just don't understand. Really good money. I, I honestly like. I'm trying to understand the NFT space. That's partially why I bought it, but also because I do believe in Nelk, and I, I like they're yep. gonna go far. Like they're just killing it on everything. Um, so I want to invest in that and back those guys. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Something funny. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Nope. Something funny. I'm in the Discord, right? So it's like this chat room once you buy the NFT. And I'm a noob to this stuff. Most people do like fake names. I have I thought this was like my new account. So I'm like, CJ Lotzer. <laughs> <laughs> Upload like One, a two, profile three. picture of me Pick smiling. <laughs> like, and I get in this Discord and people recognize me from being in like, because they, they must cool. have watched C-Boys. But so they're like, oh, CJ bought a... So I get DMs now. I got a couple DMs. Not that many. Like two or three DMs saying like, hey, like I see you're in the Discord or whatever. When When is C-Boys going to drop their NFT? And I was like, I mean... Interesting. M- maybe, but I, I don't want to... Like, if we're going to do this, I want to like do it right. So I don't really know much, but I was like... But these people wanted to... They said, if you buy it or drop an NFT, I'm buying. And also, like, if there's any way I could work for you and all this stuff. But Wow. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just another facet that sure. we could look into, but I don't know yeah, how people would respond. To I like. I just like the idea of uh, your buddy uh, was explaining it to us. He explained NFTs better than I could ever understand them before. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, Manish. Right. Yeah. Um, he was like how he's saying that like it's a, in a sense it's a way for a true Nelk fan or something to like put their money where their mouth is. It's not like, hey, pay us if you really like it's our content. Like not investing. like that. It's but yeah, it's like put put your money where your mouth is like and show us some real support and that's kind of what's happening. Right. And I think it's pretty cool. It's investing in like the creator essentially. Right. So like I guess if Nell keeps going on and they keep doing all these things, like if they drop full send gyms and full send lounges and a full send casino, I guarantee you that Metagar is gonna be worth more than yeah. we yeah, bought exactly. it for. And that's the thing. And honestly I like, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting, but there's so many different ways you can do an NFT, and I don't know how. I mean, might as well. It's the end of the podcast. Like, yeah. I, it seems like there's like the cool way, which is like, or not the cool way, but like the the flashy like um, flexing way. You know, it's like buying like a chain, mm-hmm. like a diamond chain. Like, I spent ten grand on this chain. I have this ten thousand dollar NFT. Personally, I think the ten thousand dollar chain's cooler. But like, what are you gonna walk around and show this fucking little JPEG image of your? Well, that's what people started doing. They started on having Twitter. Yeah, and, that's pretty fucking smart. Well, or or a lot of people are making it their profile pictures because then it's like, yo, people know. But then it's like, do people really know? Dude, but even the NBA and UFC, we we're watching the fights. They are tapping into NFTs. UFC dropped like a they base. It's like a card pack. They had uh like a best moments pack. Oh yeah, like. When we were watching the fight, they were advertising in the corner, and NBA does it NBA with like NBA did that top early. shots. Yeah, so like they're everyone is tapping into the NFT market. I mean, we definitely would have to learn more, but it's definitely obviously Logan Paul has done a lot with it, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. So you know, like 
I think the yeah. utility of it is cool. Yeah. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sold. I just don't like the flex. On the picture right. version of it. <laughs> yeah, I love that lame. it can be uh that you make a bunch of money, that you can make money. That's cool to me. Yeah, but, but also what, it's like, how do you know? Yeah. And like what's the point? Why does it go up? I love that all that. But the utility to me is like yeah. Yeah. something I love really that cool. It's a way to like the blockchain thing. It you you own it. And when you sell it, if I sell it to CJ, I no longer own it and CJ owns it and no one else owns it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or at least that particular one. I, I think that's to, cool. I tried to buy the Nelk one the next day. I freaking put Ethereum into it, and then I was bidding on this one. And on, messed w- on what? OpenSea? OpenSea. Like from somebody who minted it? Mm-hmm. And then I messed up, and like at the time, I was like bidding on them because I was like, well, I'll do it if I can get it cheap. So I wrapped it. I wrapped my Ethereum, and then you're supposed to be able to transfer it faster, so it's a little pink. Logo. I don't know, but I messed up because I tried to then buy later when the floor went down. I could have bought one for like eight point eight. And oh. I was like, oh, this is this is great. But I'd wrap my Ethereum, so then I would have had to unwrap it to put it in a normal Ethereum. And I was doing that and each time it was costing me like thirty five dollars. I was yeah. like, oh, uh, geez. Yeah, we they call that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um and so I anyway I'm I thought stuck. you said we Yeah, we 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 anyway W-E-T. I'm stuck with all this yeah. wrapped it reminds Ethereum. me of uh, yeah. Patrick, it's just crazy, dude. I thought you said East. I thought you, I thought said, you said East. The stage we're in right now, and I mean, plenty of uh, smart people have said this, but is like the like late '90s, like internet mm-hmm. boom again. This is you know, this is Web three, basically, is what they're calling it, and uh, it's a new time. I, I I imagine it's it's only going to become more and more yeah um, prevalent in everyone's lives. So. I'm I'm curious to know what the people listening right now think of all of that. Yeah, because that's I, a two hours. You know, obviously it it is very confusing. Would and, our fan and, base and, even and, want us? To? And that's the main reason that me and CJ initially wanted to buy the uh, the Nelk NFTs is just like, you know, it's a good place to start, and and uh, obviously we, we believe in them, but. I was super confused as to like how to even buy one of yeah. these things. So I mean, just going through the process of figuring that out, pretty I, simple. I thought it was pretty easy. It's pretty yeah. simple now that we've done it once. But obviously, a lot of people do not understand them at all, and they think they're just pictures, which you know a lot of projects really are. Are. Um, but I'm curious to know what the people watching or listening right now yeah. think of them. So if you just leave a comment, I yeah. mean, if. if we were to drop an NFT, like, would that even be something you're interested in? Yeah. Because, I mean, we, yeah, it's just... I wonder if that's something our audience would even be interested in. So, yeah, comment that down below. I think that's it for today. Yep. Come up uh, to Ken's big birthday yeah. bash. Ken's birthday February bash, 5th. February 5th. Yeah. yeah. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And you we're can come. 105. You can come if you don't have a snowmobile either. That too, just yeah. show up. Oh, right, right. There's a yeah, bar, food. Like one, we're going to be one. hanging out, talking, taking pictures, all that. So, Heck yeah. anyways, peace out. Peace. Peace. Sweet. Thanks.